What's up, you guys? It's January 17th, 2023 in Big Bear. This is the Aftermath video. And just real quick, if you guys like what I do and all the effort I put into these videos, please, please hit that like button. It, it really does help. It does something with the algorithm. You're gonna hear this again in the video because I already did the whole drive around the whole valley, but I forgot to get into the dang freaking village. So I'm gonna do the village at the very start here so you guys can see what's going on. The temperature currently is 28 degrees and it's 10.09 in the morning. I started this drive like around eight or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'm gonna shut this down for right now, but please, please guys, if you love my efforts, please hit like and subscribe and here we go. All right, we are going guys, we are going. And we got about three or four inches overnight. You guys are gonna hear me talk about that again shortly, as soon as we're done with the village, cause that's when the video is technically gonna start, but that's okay. Um, yeah, we got a lot more than I expected overnight. When I, I got up after just a few hours of sleep, holy moly, it was so beautiful out there. It's so beautiful out here. Look at, look at this place. It's so great. It's so great. I love the village, especially when we have snow like this. So yeah, guys, part of town. Oh my gosh. Wait till you see how much snow there is. Some parts of this town got a ton of snow. We did the whole Big Bear Valley tour on, on this ride. So I just want you guys to know that. Um, and as I said, we're already done with it. It's just when I came back here through the village, I was like, shoot, I, I didn't get my favorite part of town. So I wanted you guys to at least go through a drive through my favorite part of Big Bear and see how, how pretty and precious this place looks in the snow. Our friends here own the Honey Bee or no, Queen Bee, Queen Bee. Okay, I won't forget that, Queen Bee, Queen Bee. I don't know why I always call it the Honey Bee, but um, they gave me some samples of some stuff and my gosh, like guys, it's, it's incredible, especially they're like lotions and stuff like that. It's just incredible. Killer product. My wife loves it. Their regular honey is freaking phenomenal. We're gonna stay here sometime, guys. I just can't afford it right now. We've stayed here. I keep on putting a playlist up at the end of these videos of all my lodging. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And anyway, guys, get ready for this drive. It is so pretty. Get ready. It's really gorgeous. Take care and we'll see you guys soon. We have just left the village. Nick has left the village. Well, good morning, everybody. It's January 17th, 2023, and this is the snowfall aftermath video. We got a, a bit of snow last night, overnight when it wasn't supposed to be that much. Um, guys, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please hit like and subscribe. Um, thank you guys for supporting my cause to hit the like and subscribe button. I've always been embarrassed over the past eight years, so I just started asking this past week for the first time ever. So please do that. It would really help a brother out here, and uh, I just really want to do the best I can for you guys and uh, see where this can take me, actually, because I never thought it would get this far. So I, I never asked, but once again, it would, it would be super, super appreciated. Um, just a simple little click would, would really really helped me out a lot so thank you guys very much especially hitting like I guess because um, apparently it has something to do with the algorithm which will lead these videos to be sent to like other parts of the country and the world also so people have the option to look so that would be awesome if you guys could do that for me and thank you very much and that's enough of that <laughs> so yeah we probably got like three inches overnight maybe a, a little bit more to add to what we already have so it looks absolutely beautiful out here um yeah we're gonna stop and get gas but we're gonna do the regular valley tour from basically uh the big bear dam to baldwin lake and you guys will really get a good perspective of the big bear snow rule today that's snow summit over there once again the big bear snow rule is a term that i coined which basically insinuates that uh one side of town will always get a lot more snow than the other side of town it's pretty crazy how that works. It's the same elevation, only eight miles apart, but a lot more snow on one side of town. And it's the Big Bear Dam side of town that gets a lot more snow. And also guys, my freaking interview got postponed again. I can't believe it. I, I cannot believe it. Just tri I'm tripping out. And the producer was, was very vague today. So I don't know what the heck's going on. Um, I don't know. 
so we shall see. I'm trying to get gas. Here we go. Here we go. So I'll pause it for now. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for all the comments. I love you guys so much. It's so much fun doing these videos for you guys. You guys are very grateful people. So get ready for a beautiful drive. This is going to be the whole Big Bear Valley. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Hang tight. All right, guys, we just got gas. Let's take off. Let's get out of here. We are going to head around the town and we're going to take one little detour. We're going to stop at the YMCA for our friend Randall Allen on this channel. He's been asking me to do that, and so I would be happy to, to do that for him. Perfect timing, too. I don't know where it is, so I put it in my GPS system. Let's see if we get there, okay? Oh, here we go. Look at this. Oh, I thought we were going to make the light. I thought wrong. All right, so let's see here. Hopefully I can pull up to the sensor. This is beautiful today. I didn't expect there to be this many cars out right now. But it is what it is. Here we go. I think. Where's my green light? Yo, here we go. All right, so we're gonna head kind of like we're going out of town, the main route, because we want to be able to uh, avoid as much traffic as possible. Look at these roads, it's so beautiful. I know it says 28 out here, but I think it's a little uh, less, I think it's colder than 28, you guys. And this is where we're going. Oh wait, I gotta, you know what? We're gonna have to hit it coming back. So that's what we'll do. I thought it was this direction. So once again, guys, I thought wrong. So we're gonna stop the GPS right now. And then uh, turn it back on once we get to the other side because I wanna be able to show you guys where we're at according to the GPS system. So this is where we're starting off from basically and we're gonna go all the way around the lake all the way to that little blue dot way over there on the right there's some red over there i'm wondering if there's an accident over by baldwin hopefully by the time we get there it'll be handled i just had to put gasoline in the car as you guys know but yeah guys i'm super bummed out the last time fox postponed with me they were they went in depth explaining how there are severe storms in Alabama and for right now we're still on for 420 p.m. but if anything changes we will let you know and within an hour this they they let me know that the tornado outbreak did happen and it was really really bad so they're gonna have to postpone it and then today I'll read you guys her text message It said, good morning, we have to switch some times around again. I'll keep you posted on the exact time as soon as I know. It will have to be another day, I will keep you posted. And then basically, I, after back and forth texting, I said, uh, let's see. Last but not least, I don't wanna sound like a wuss, but is this gonna for sure happen? And even if it takes a month or two, that's totally cool. She was like, we'll keep you posted. And I said, okay, well, thank you anyway, my friend. I wish you the best out there, and I hope you guys continue doing and creating the best information to provide for people. Have a good one. And she said, thank you, talk soon. So maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I don't know. I'm really sad. I was hoping to do that today because I told all of you guys that I was gonna be on the news today. And all of you are so excited for me. Like. 
you guys are the greatest support system I've ever had. <clears throat> Basically, just like my mom and dad. The rest of my family... <laughs> Guys, it is so bright out here. Holy moly. The temperature dropped down to 27. We're not supposed to get much warmer than this today. But because we have clear skies, some of this snow will melt due to the radiational heating from the sun. And I just didn't want to have to deal with, uh, well, I want to get out early today instead of a little later like I usually do for the aftermath video to make sure that we capture as much snow as possible. As much snow that doesn't melt. <clears throat> it's really important for me guys updated keep you guys totally posted so we are on Big Bear Boulevard aka Highway 18 heading towards the Big Bear Dam there are quite a bit of cars coming in today looks like a bunch of people had the same ideas of hey we'll wait till the storm's over look at this guy stop right in the middle of the road <laughs> like what are you doing <clears throat> You guys have the same, all these people have the same idea where they're just going to uh, wait out the storm and then come the next day and it looks like a bunch of people thought the same thing. <laughs> Look at all that snow being blown over there from a snow plow. That is awesome. This is a good sledding place for you guys. It's a, it's a pay to sled, but it's a great, great spot. The Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. That is so cool. So this first part of the drive, we're going to the part of town which is the snowiest. And when I say the part of town, I mean the, the part of the valley, which is the snowiest part. Because when you get up to the ski resorts, it's just as much, if not more, there at the base. And then Upper Moon Ridge and the highest parts of Sugarloaf. Basically, the closer you get to the hill sides, to the mountain sides, the more snow you're gonna get. So the further we go to the left here, to get close to the mountain, the more snow you'll get. But the reason why we get a lot of snow up here at the Big Bear Dam area is because <clears throat> there's a little opening where the storms kind of seep through right there. And the Big Bear Dam sits right at the bottom of two little mountains. And so the storms get a lot of lifting created there and they just dump right there and then they cruise back through the town and then they did they they dissipate eventually just look at how much snow we got this is great you guys <laughs> once again i know it's not mammoth you guys i know i know i'm a little jealous of those bastards that's all right i i got a message last night on here guys that said i i bet you feel really lucky that you're not in mammoth and i could I was like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you think that? I feel the complete opposite, as a matter of fact. I wish I was in Mammoth. Hear my brakes? They're frozen. <laughs> I mean, guys, I think some parts of town may have gotten six to eight inches overnight. It looks like a lot more snow than I expected. Well, it definitely is. I think that's been the first time this season that the miscalculation has been in our favor. Initially, they said we would get this much even just yesterday. But um, late night when I did the last drive, it showed that uh, less than one inch was going to happen. And as you'll see, there's more and more snow. Look at how high those piles of snow are. Taller than that dude. This morning was a pain in the butt because I had to get a bunch of snow off my car. I try to get most of the snow off the car, which is technically the law, you guys, believe it or not. And the reason is, is um, well, and I, I didn't get it in some some important spots. I got about half my roof, but why it's important to get all that snow off there is as you're driving around, the inside of the car is warming up the roof, and then those sheets of snow and ice, when you 
hit your brakes will come flying down onto your windshield and it'll blind you. You don't want to be blinded driving in these conditions. And sometimes it's so heavy that your windshield wipers will not work. So you got to pull over blindfolded essentially. Guys, look at this. This is what I was waiting for. This is what I was waiting for. This is beautiful. Guys, I got to thank you again for all the support. I am just, I love you guys so much. You guys really treat me with respect and love. And I don't know what I did to deserve it. I don't know what I did to deserve it. As I said, that's probably my mentality for most of my life. The people that love you, brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, or the people that are supposed to love you, um, always making me feel like I, 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 like I was the problem and I'm an issue and this and that. You know, I had my struggles, you guys. I've, I've been through nine different rehabs for alcohol and uh, hydrocodone use nine different rehabs it was it was like seven of them for alcohol but now on june 23rd i'll have 10 years from drinking any alcohol and i'm telling you i was a blackout drunk every single night black out i was a miserable human being i didn't have a job i was just just a really depressed person and every night it was get blackout drunk to not think about how much of a loser i am and then rinse, wash, and repeat the next day. I wake up super, super bummed out. It was for those few hours that that I was enjoying being drunk that I was feeling a lot better. But I'll tell you what, like that's no way to live, you guys. That's no way to live. And if, if any of you have any struggles like that, don't hesitate to contact me. I'm happy to help you as much as I can. <clears throat> Because I know the vicious cycle that that sends us in and it's it's a horrible life it's a horrible life I want to be able to help as many people as I possibly can and if I can save some lives that would be great because through my experience strength and hope hopefully I would have something to offer you guys when it comes to to that type of stuff so but yeah the crazy thing is is as soon as I quit drinking it took about three years but after that, everything started falling into place for me. Couldn't believe it. Look at all this snow, guys. We're getting closer to the dam. Look at how high the snow banks are. It's as tall as the car. And what a beautiful day, my goodness. It's 24 degrees over here. At almost 9 a.m. There we are, almost to the dam back out again so you guys can see everything there higher than the car here let's see if we can get any lake views over there minor but yeah coming around here when we go right around the big bear dam that's when we're gonna get some great lake views I'm gonna focus I'm gonna focus the camera on the lake like I usually do Look at this guy's driveway. Good luck getting up there, buddy. <laughs> Seriously, guys. Holy smokes. So we are officially in the snowiest part of the Big Bear Valley, you guys, right here. Right through here. For the next, probably, quarter mile. Oh, 23 degrees now. I like that. We're keeping the snow from melting. And it's pretty nice not having used the windshield wipers, huh, guys? So you guys don't have to hear that. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't feel sick. I just had COVID a month ago for my first time. Not a month ago, it was Christmas day is when I actually started feeling sick, Christmas night. And now my throat's having an issue. I don't think it's from talking because I do these videos all the time. Look at these piles, guys. Look at these piles just piled high. All right, so we have arrived at the Big Bear Dam. If we continue straight, that'll that's the little Arctic Circle and it's, I don't know, I think like nine or 10 miles until you get to like Snow Valley, maybe 11 miles. I don't know, it's something like that. Look at this snow sparkle right there, it's so cool, you guys. 
Chains required. It says four wheel drive with snow tires. Okay, but it says chains required right now. But I always suggest you guys call 1-800-CALTRANS. It's an automated system that will give you the most up-to-date information on the road conditions, keep you as safe as possible. I would definitely utilize that service, guys. today oh my goodness gracious guys and just really quickly check out this side super beautiful as well over here oh my gosh I am in snow heaven right now or this might be snow limbo mammoth right now is snow heaven <laughs> or snow hell or <laughs> something like that Guys, I, I love doing these videos. I love it. It makes me so happy. As I told you guys, I get very, very, very depressed. Like, very depressed. I'm always worrying about things. I know I'm, I'm human, and I know a lot of us always worry about things, but I just need some freedom in my mind. And so I'm trying to, to begin to really address what's been going on in my life and find some answers instead of just oh watch out birds oh no please tell me i didn't hit okay i drove over him jeez louise guys I, I always feel so sad if i ever hit a little animal i am very very passionate about animals i'm not like a PETA person because you know i eat animals and i have leather jackets but i don't even like those processes but i still i, I still do it But believe it or not, in a weird, weird way, like I feel more bad when I see a hurt animal than I do a hurt person. And I know that sounds horrible, but it's because these animals are just so innocent. They're just living their lives innocently. And then here we came to screw it all up for them. So, you guys remember how much snow we saw at the Big Bear Dam, right? Wait till we get to Baldwin. You guys are going to trip out. This is going to be a good example of the Big Bear snow rule. I can't wait to get out there. It's going to be hardly any snow out there, guys. It's, it's only eight miles. The furthest point from where we were at the Big Bear Dam is about eight miles. That's where we're going. And you guys are going to trip out. Oh, my gosh. It is gorgeous out here today. Not a cloud. Oh, yeah, there is a cloud in the sky over the mountain. look over here oh my gosh it's so pretty temperature went up to 24 degree or er, 25 degrees where we're at right now going to the lake right on the lake as you can see there's a big puddle Woo! getting snow melt because of the radiational heating guys even at 25 degrees those puddles are kind of taking me with the puddles a little bit look at there's some ice on the lake past couple years there hasn't been much ice on the lake one year i remember the whole lake having a sheet of ice on it and the closer you get to the shore the more icy the thicker it is but um yeah this has been a really weak year for that gosh i'd love to have one of these houses right on the lake you guys oh my gosh imagine waking up to that every day maybe someday this youtube channel will will help me do that as I said, guys, it's been eight years of me doing this, and I just started asking you guys to subscribe for the past five days or something. That's it. 
I just really, really hope that I can enjoy the rest of my life and follow my passion like this and get paid to do it. I mean, I'll always do this, guys, no matter what. You guys see my passion. I have over 3,000 videos doing this. I, I love doing this. It makes me feel so good inside. coming up to the, the eagles we're in the the eagle habitat the eagle sanctuary a lot of people from around the world watch our eagles in their nest and congratulations to the eagles they had they laid an egg or something like that so i'm very proud of you guys that's eagle tastic okay we're entering fawn skin guys i know i drive a little fast I'm not even going the speed limit, but especially through this little town, you want to slow it down to the 25 miles an hour. Our town relies, not relies, but gets a lot of its income from ticketing people and from DUIs and stuff like that. So um, it's a big source of income for us. So just be very, very careful up here. Never, ever, ever drink and drive. I'm not just saying up here, obviously never drink and drive anywhere. I used to drink and drive and for like two years, it was blackout drunk every night. And then I would wake up somewhere else and be like, how did I get, and then I just realized that I, I, I always, I was going to bed always and then I would wake up a lot of times somewhere else. Always at my friend's houses and it was just, yeah, it was, it was rough, you guys. You, you don't want to live like that. So this is Fawn Skin, this is downtown Fawn Skin. This is a bright sun. One of my best friends in the world, Jordan Groves from Redlands, who lives in Orange County now. When we used to visit this place, he treated me to North Shore Cafe. And it was one of my favorite restaurants up here. I loved it a lot. Good breakfast, guys, good breakfast. But it's so far away from everything. But I guess that's kind of what gives it its quaintness. It's it, it's just a small town vibe because it is in Fawn Skin. There's just not much going on over here. Unless you just want to relax and live a peaceful lifestyle, that, then, then you got that over here for sure. <laughs> 26 degrees now. Hopefully we'll be still below freezing when we finish this drive. The forecast says we're not supposed to get above 30 today. friend sold me the wrong windshield wiper fluids I need the one that works at zero degrees this one must be the regular one it's so it's frozen dang it I want you guys to have the perfect views today and with the sun shining on the windshield it's showing all of its uh, uh, flaws snow is sparkling you guys it looks like diamonds everywhere in the snow I can't forget to go buy that YMCA for our friend Randall Randall sent us a $30 cash app donation you guys have no idea how much those help me it'll be so nice if this channel does grow because then you know like I mean, I don't ask you guys. I do have it in my description. If you want to help me out, you guys, you can send money here. But I never expected anyone would actually help me out. And it, it really does help. There would be no way that I could do all these drives because of gas, just so you guys know. So you guys really do help me out a lot. I love you all so much. Nice little lake view right here. <laughs> you 
you guys have asked me what that sound is when it goes beep, 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 it's telling me to keep my eyes on the road. Because it can tell there's this, this area right here has something that's on my eyesight at all times. And it, uh, just to, to keep me safe, it lets me know when I'm reminding me to pay attention. And so as I said, you guys, I'm not gonna go into Sugarloaf right now. I'm just gonna do the whole Bear Valley area. I know Irwin is kind of considered that, but we're, we're doing the main Big Bear Valley, the main part, which is from the dam to Baldwin. And the further we go this direction, the less snow we're going to come into, folks. degrees again it's nine o'clock in the morning I don't want you guys to get mad at me but I might pass this guy So we need to make sure that we're not going around a blind turn and make sure that there aren't any cars coming. As I said, I don't want you guys to get mad at me. There's a couple cars coming. So after this truck, here we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So if that was me, you guys, and there was someone on my tail, I would pull over basically right away to let them pass. That's what you want to do up here. Not, I'm not trying to like say, get out of the way. Not at all. It's just that um, you don't want to have that stress of having someone back of you. That's why I wasn't super close to him, but um, I'm the type of person who always wants to appease other people. I'm like a people pleaser in so many ways because I want people to not dislike me. And, um, and that comes out when I'm driving also. Um, and the way I am is if there is someone on my tail, you guys, I'm going to like get super nervous and then I'm gonna speed up because I don't wanna slow them down. And then when I speed up, it makes it so much more dangerous for me because then on these roads that are already tough driving anyway, I'm gonna make it a lot harder and I'm gonna be nervous while driving faster in conditions that I shouldn't be driving near that speed in. So instead of appeasing people, guys, just when you have a chance, pull over at the next area that you can and pull over as often as you can. If, if you have to pull over five times in a, a, a one mile period for people, just enjoy being up here. Go ahead and do that keep yourself safe let them run off the road let me run off the road but I don't want you guys running off the road that is such a beautiful view of snow summit from right across the lake you guys oh my gosh and there is a ton of snow up there when we get the massive snowstorms though everything that's green up there is white all the trees are white it's just completely white and I'm hoping we get something like that. Some of you said that it looks like the beginning of February. It looks like there's 
the possibility for some massive stormage. And if that's the case, you guys, I would love that. I would love that. Because I want to test this. Well, I'll have my, my other, uh, my old Subaru back, which is what my wife's going to be driving. But in, in, in the deep storms, that's what I'm going to use in the deep snow is my other Subaru just so I don't ruin this car okay we are at Stanfield cutoff you guys we are finally at the end of the lake on the other side if we turn right here you head into Big Bear Lake and the South Shore resorts for the most part right here we are heading into Big Bear City now for a quick sec uh, hang on because I think for some reason we're, we're getting close to th this is where I crashed right here you guys someone was stopped to turn left in here and I didn't see it and I hit them right here boom not good not good first car accident I've ever been in and yes it was my fault I wasn't even texting I was on the phone with my wife but I wasn't even texting look at that snowman can you guys see him they, they did a really good job I love seeing that up here you guys I love seeing families up here building snowmen and sledding it's it's just it gives me that Christmas time feeling and it makes me really really happy so please, everyone, come up here and build snowmen. Make this place like just snowmen everywhere when we have this type of snow. In Mammoth, they're building snow monsters. They're building Sasquatch men. Those lucky people up there. I know the people there are probably not feeling so lucky because it is just ridiculous the amount of snow they have. The last time I was in Mammoth for any snow was in the 1996, 1997, right before I turned 17. I think it was January um, during the, that huge El Nino year that we had here. I was still in Newport Beach most of my life there, driving on Pacific Coast Highway right by like uh, the Balboa Bay Club and McDonald's right there. My car started floating. I had a little Toyota Corolla and it started floating. And then my car shut off and I had to get it repaired. It was horrible. I think it was still under warranty though. So I think it was taken care of, but yeah, that was awful. But we went up to Mammoth, my friend Sam Nichols and myself. It was my longest vacation by myself ever. Well, with a friend, but without mom or family. And it was awesome. I mean, guys like, if you want to see real snow, that's that's the place to go. That is the place to go. The place will knock your socks off. Temperature is 27 now. Let's see. This is telling us to turn right on Greenway to go to the YMCA. But I thought I told this thing to calm itself down. the YMCA over by Boulder Bay. Jeez Louise. My GPS kind of really messes with me. But if that's the case, guys, then I'll just shut off the, the camera through part of where we drove through already, and uh, you guys don't have to deal with it a second time. 
So as you can see, significantly less snow out this direction. The further you go, the less snow you will get. That's why I would never live on this side of town. I, I just couldn't. I have to have all the snow or as much snow as possible for the area. But I chose kind of a central location in Big Bear Lake just so I could be closer to the stores and whatnot. But let's say this was the snowiest part of town, far away from our grocery stores. This is where I would be living for sure. I would have found a way, but also the place that I rent is $550 a month. And it, it's the same price that I paid when I first moved up here. When I first moved up here, guys, everything was so inexpensive for rent. Oh my gosh, it was crazy, crazy cheap. And thankfully the landlords have not raised our rent So we are on Highway 18, the back side. Look at all this marshland with water in it. So we're gonna get a good view, guys, of Baldwin Lake and what I'm gonna forecast for what it's gonna look like when most of the snow melts in the next week or so. We're probably not gonna get that much snow melt because the temperatures for the next two weeks are supposed to stay in like the mid 30s for highs so look there's a bunch of water here look at that guys that turned into another little lake right there this this whole area but wait till you see the big part it's going to be so so awesome you guys and the cool thing is is for the baldwin lake residents when it's usually just a, a little dry desert area for most of the year a couple weeks out of each year it seems that they turn into a lake and that's it right there, but it goes all the way around. We'll be there in a moment. Knock on wood, but we haven't slipped either on this drive. It's been nice. Gosh, look at that. Look at that. Unbelievably beautiful. So here we go. We're going to start going along Baldwin Lake here. And let's see how much water is in this thing. Oh my gosh, guys. This is going to, oh my gosh, look at that. When all this ice and snow melts, this is going to look like a huge lake for probably a couple weeks. Wow. I mean, this whole thing whole thing for the most part this whole white area here that's exciting you guys it's so pretty and then all those homes right right across become lakefront property for a couple weeks out of the year if there's any airbnb there they could probably charge three times while it looks like this oh that's so gorgeous and guys once again if you guys are enjoying this video please please hit like please subscribe to my channel um i really do want to see where we can go with this and you know at, you know after all these years of, of never asking i feel like maybe i've earned it a little bit but then again uh, i've only been right like once in my life so but it would it would be awesome i'd be super super happy guys so please consider it at least just know that you'll be helping a good guy out first people that we're going to end up passing <laughs> again <clears throat> just kidding we, we don't have too much further to go to turn into baldwin lake so we're probably not going to have to pass him but maybe you never know i'm just on a mission right now so that whole thing is baldwin lake when we get massive snows you guys this whole thing is a freaking lake down in there it's it's really it really is spectacular 
it just makes this town so much, so much nicer. And look, you can see some dry patches over here. We're getting to the least snowy part of town. And then look at the hills straight ahead. There's a lot of brown up there on the ground. Just amazing, you guys. What a difference, and it's always like this. When there's full snow coverage over here, then you know the Big Bear Lake area got absolutely walloped with snow. But uh, yeah, there's still some some dry spots. Look, there's not even snow plow snow on the side of the road here. Temperature jumped up to 28 degrees. And uh, let me get a better camp, a better map view here. There we go. So this is where we're at. I hope you guys can see. I know the sun is reflecting off of everything like crazy right now. Yeah, that's where we're at. All right now we're gonna turn here. So I take a nice look up, up there for, for a second. No one behind us at all. Okay, this is Baldwin Lake. If you go straight right there, you're gonna end up at the top of that summit in about 300 yards, and then you'll start heading down the mountain into the desert, into Lucerne Valley, Victorville, Apple Valley. It's just amazing how little snow is out here, you guys. I can't wait to start heading the other direction though because we'll be pointing away from the sun and then these little flaws in the windshield won't be showing. So we'll get a much better view for you guys. But yeah, this is the least snowiest part of town, guys. least snowy part of town I should say sometimes with my windshield wiper fluid when it's this type that won't work and freeze when it's uh, below freezing I'll get out and get some fresh snow and wipe it on the windshield and then use my windshield wipers to clean it off Oh, as a matter of fact, in the back of my trunk, I actually have some windshield cleaner. But I don't necessarily want to, want to do that right now. These poor kids slaving away, getting the snow out for mom and dad. But you know what? <laughs> They're lucky they don't live on the other side of town, let's put it that way. Because that would be just ridiculous for young kids like that to have to plow it all. Teaching them character though, teaching them work ethic. I can appreciate that. Yeah, they got about an inch or two over here at the most. getting a lot of rubbing in my wheel well. I think today at some point, if, if, if we get to 32 degrees, or 33 actually, I will go to the car wash and get all the snow off of the uh, wheel wells and off of my brakes. As I said, our car wash up here like, spit, like spits out really warm water, so it's just perfect. It is perfect. right there all right so all the way out there that's where we are that's where we live way at the other end way out there you can't even see it you can't even see it
it's an inside, not the windshield. And here's some equestrian stuff over here, some farmland. A couple big, big mansions out here too. Look at that big old brown place right there. That thing is humongous. About five years back or something like that, there was a Super Bowl commercial filmed up here. And for my next video, I actually went and like, like just reenacted it. <laughs> it was so funny. There was some guy stuck in his car I can't remember what the commercial was about, but the whole film crew was parked right here. Watch. First, I'll show you the spot where they stopped. Uh, the whole film crew was parked right in here, in this area, big trucks everywhere. And the car for the commercial was pulled over right there. And it was such, it was when we had humongous snowfall up here. And I couldn't believe it uh, when they said that it was filmed up here and so I looked it up and found out exactly where and obviously I could tell once I knew it was in in Big Bear I, I could tell right where it was and so I drove over and saw all the film trucks and everything it was, it was as I said it was super cool okay right now we're still on Baldwin Lake Road I believe but it changes to Shea Road and I'm gonna show you guys a, a sledding area when they get snow out here this part of, of Baldwin gets significantly more snow than just that other part that we just drove through but there's a, a good area to sled you guys so i'm going to try and show it to y'all here it comes <clears throat> and this is free just pull into this little area here if you can so you're out, you're out of the street and then just bring your kids to go sledding right here boom Boom, 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 shakalaka. There's a view of Baldwin from the opposite side now. I'm pointing the camera in the direction of the desert. So on the other side of those hills right there, you start going down the mountain, thousands of feet to the desert. time on this road on this drive hope you guys are still with me and enjoying it you get to take the whole big bear tour during the day without any clouds just full of sun it's so pretty up here Look at this humongous Santa Claus right here. Hey, Santa buddy. Santa buddy. some of these streets are some more equestrian spots cute houses guys I mean just adorable houses but yeah guys remember how it looked over by the Big Bear Dam right I mean isn't that a huge crazy difference you guys with the amount of snow from there to here, it really is. All right, so right now we're coming up onto Big Bear Boulevard and Highway 38. We're gonna stay on Big Bear Boulevard. So this is Shea Road. If we Once we cross the stop sign, it turns into Big Bear Boulevard. And Shea Road is spelled S-H-A-Y. So if you guys go straight, coming from the other direction and 
you end up on Shea Road and you're like, what, what, what's that? I thought I was on Big Bear Boulevard. Well, you kind of are. Here's Highway 38. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. This next street is Maple Lane. This had, this takes you up to Sugarloaf. Um, some some year some years or sometimes of the year when the when that hill is really really icy, there will be incredible amount of cars sliding and crashing at the very bottom down here. It's a bummer to see. I have a quick little story about that. A few years back, I think it was two years back, um, someone who lives here contacted me and told me they have some awesome footage of a bunch of cars, just every car w was sliding from right there to right here and just crash, 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 nonstop. Even cars just like mine, snow tires, everything, because it was so icy. Um, he asked me if I wanted to use his footage for my channel because it was super cool footage. And I told him respectfully, I, I, I appreciate that, but I, I feel kind of weird if I didn't capture it myself to like post something like that. So I appreciate it very, very much, my friend. You are the man. And long story short, he ended up, like I think it's like his own only YouTube video, but he posted it and he has more views on that one video than my 3000 videos combined. Like he has like more than two or, th he has like three times as many views just on that one video than my whole channel's lifetime. So I'm kind of regretting not doing that now but once again I still feel good about the fact that I, I capture all my footage I like to earn it but my goodness like oh my my goodness <laughs> it's just crazy how many views his video has his video has like like six seven eight nine million views And it is pretty awesome. Obviously the car accidents, that's not awesome. But just to see cars just just spinning and sliding, cars that you would expect would never ever do that. It was, it was crazy to see that. Okay, we are in Big Bear City, folks. On Big Bear Boulevard. We are about to get to one of the staples of this city. It's, I think the longest for one of the longest uh, open businesses that this area has seen. It's called Community Market. It's been here, I think, since like the 40s. And this side of town was the hip place. This is where everything was, all the residents, because we didn't have the ski resorts in the 1940s. So here's Community Market on the left-hand side. We'll get a nice look at that. As I said, it is one of the oldest establishments in the whole town. Yeah, I don't know why it got postponed and the producer was very vague today so I don't I don't know what's going on but it is what it is you know I'm sure I'll get more opportunities like that if my channel keeps growing and it'd be nice to be on the local news stations that would be cool like KTLA 5 hang out with Henry DiCarlo for a while that would be awesome I would love that or other news stations and hang out with Dallas Rains that would be cool You guys know that Dallas Rains loves Big Bear and he loves coming up here. I saw him at Murray's one time. Very, very, very cool guy. Very tan. <laughs> but a very cool dude. Okay guys, so the further we go this direction, the more snow we're gonna run into. This is where we're at right now. We pan out to the right there, that's Baldwin Lake. We just drove all the way around that. And right above where you see the number 38, Highway 38, that's what we, uh, 
what we were driving on the other side of the lake. So we've basically driven the whole Big Bear Valley. And now I'm gonna put that GPS back on to see where, uh, see where we're at, or to see how, how far away we are from the YMCA. I hope you watch this until the end, Randall, because, uh, or fast forward it and so you can see that I did stop here for you. I'm, I'm gonna scroll through all the comments to find your name so I can let you know that I did go by the YMCA. I'm gonna ask Siri to take me to the YMCA in Big Bear, hang on. Take me to the YMCA, Big Bear, California. Getting directions to Santa Monica Family YMCA. <laughs> no, that's not where I want to go. Not Santa Monica Family YMCA. Jeez Louise. Okay, it's still up on my Google. Here's Division Road. This separates Big Bear City from Big Bear Lake. And here we go. Big Bear Lake, 6,025 people, population, and the elevation is 6,754 feet. Okay guys, one of my favorite neighborhoods in this whole town, I'm gonna to show you in just a second. It's to the right here. That neighborhood right there, it just sits on this beautiful prairie. It, it just feels like, it just looks like a, a really nice small little mountain community. They've got big mansions over there. It's really, really beautiful. Here's one of the walking paths in Elevated Ridge. You can see where all, all the water marks are on those on the pillars to see that the water used to go up almost to the top there. And this isn't even part of the Big Bear Lake Park. This is a different little lake that, 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 that used to have a lot of water in it as well. Big Bear Lake, you can kind of see it in the top of your screen there, some of the lake over there. YMCA. Randall, I love you, bro. That's why I'm doing this. But to spare you guys the same drive that we just did, I am going to stop the, the, uh, the recording once we get to 7-Eleven. Just so uh, you guys don't have to watch a few miles twice. I know you do in all the different videos. You watch the same thing. I try to switch it up as much as I can, but there's just not much up here. But in the same video doing it twice, I don't want to bug you guys with that. Oh, here's one of my favorite views in town. There's Snow Summit, just looking gorgeous as ever when you come around that corner right there. Here's Stater Brothers, Verizon, Boost Mobile, Jersey Mike's, Spectrum Store. The best restaurant in there, you guys, is called Mountain Munchies. It's freaking awesome, they have great burgers. And here's Vaughn's to the right. Hello, Vaughn's. And you've got Maggio's, Italian food in there, DIY, Dollar Tree, a laundromat. Look at that pile of snow.
I'm probably going down there in three days, my brother. It's great to hear from you today. I hope you're having a safe day out there. Temperature's still 28 degrees. As you can see, we're on Big Bear Boulevard. This is very enjoyable, you guys. I really love doing this. So in just a moment, I'm gonna shut off the camera. This is where I usually turn to head back into Moon Ridge on Moon Ridge Way, this little street here. To the left of Walgreens. And then Moon Ridge Road, main Moon Ridge, is to the right of Walgreens. And if you're coming the other direction, it's the opposite. <laughs> So Moon Ridge Road only goes one way. If you turn the wrong way, you'll be on Garston Street. So it's really easy to always remember. If I tell you guys to go down Moon Ridge Road, when you're coming from Big Bear Boulevard, you'll always know that it's only one direction on Moon Ridge Road from Big Bear Boulevard. All right, you guys, I'm gonna shut it down until we get over to a part of town that we did not drive through for the YMCA. Cheers, you all. There's the police department, our 7-Eleven we just got gas at. I'll see you guys in a moment. It's gonna seem like a second. All right, so we just turned right onto Blue Jay Street. That's Big Bear Boulevard right there where those cars are driving. And I didn't turn the camera on on time, so I pulled over into this neighborhood. There's about five, six inches of snow in there. But we're going to the YMCA for our friend Randall Allen. I'm assuming Randall went here as a kid or he used to work here. I, I think he had mentioned something. So we'll see. And I cleaned my windshield off too with snow. It worked out great. So this is Boulder Bay, you guys. It's telling us to turn, is this Catbird? No. It told us to turn, uh, I thought right there, but no. This part of town is where you start getting the most snow, as I said, into the uh, valley area. And the further we go back this way, you're gonna be on the lake. Oh man, we're gonna have to deal with with this, we're not gonna be able to get by, I don't think. I hope we can. He's he's having some, some uh, struggles getting up here. They had a bunch of chains on the car too. The iciness can be rough, you guys. So it says turn left here. Is this right? On North North Bay Drive, yep. North Bay Drive. So welcome to the Boulder Bay neighborhood, folks. And it looks like we're getting close to the YMCA. We're gonna talk about the YMCA. The YMCA will be on the left hand side, it says, in 0.1 mile. So just past this truck. I'm interested to see. And as I said, I don't know if Randall went here as a kid. Oh, look, here it is. Oh, unfortunately, we can't go in. But maybe I'll just turn around and, and get out and just walk up to the gate for him and record as much as I can from the gate. I never knew this was here. I gotta be honest with you guys, I never knew it. Okay, we're gonna hop out for a second. It's 26 degrees. We're gonna end this GPS and go to this 
maps right here. All right, guys, let's do this. Burr. And guys, look at me. You guys are going to laugh, but this is me all the time. Look, it's, I'm wearing just shorts. Oh, it's pretty deep. Unfortunately, we can't get in, Randall. I'm sorry, bro. But I thought I would do this for you for sure. We could stay here just for a second, just so you can kind of try to reminisce a bit. I'll zoom in. Looks like there's a pool right there, straight ahead where we're looking at. Well, Randall, I wish we could have gone in, man. That would have been awesome. I hope that was good enough for you, though. I hope it brings back whatever nostalgia you needed. Those icicles right there. All right, you guys. That's it for the video. I'm going to go stop at Mickey D's and get some McGriddles. <laughs> they serve them till 2 o'clock here in Big Bear. So it makes me happy. I know I really shouldn't be eating that stuff as much as I do, but I do, you guys. Anywho. I will talk to you guys later. I think this is part of the YMCA also. Some basketball courts I didn't notice I don't want to ruin it like not do the whole thing for you Randall so forgive me I'll stay here for a second and let me put on my seatbelt so that sound doesn't come back on see you later Santa Monica YMCA even though it's in Big Bear This whole place must be the YMCA. All right, guys. Well, that's that. Wish me luck going down that one hill right here where that van couldn't make it up. Hopefully he's not stuck there because I don't want to end up sliding on that hill and then not having any control. So I'm not gonna be recording, this is it. But welcome to Boulder Bay. And thank you guys for taking this drive with me. If you guys did like the video, please hit like and subscribe for me, please guys. It, it Apparently it really is huge. So I appreciate it. I work my buns off for you guys and I freeze my buns off. As you guys can see, once again, I'm in freaking shorts. <laughs> like This is me. This is me in these conditions. Peace out, guys. I love you guys with all my heart. I wish you the very best always. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. It is January 17th, 2023 in Big Bear, California. We are leaving Boulder Bay. Peace.